Hi guys, it's Baldrick here, and in today's episode, I would like to talk about 4K gaming and when it will become the standard resolution everyone will be playing on. So, currently, the average resolution most people play on is 1080p. I'm not saying they'll be outputting their games to 1080p, but most people would have a 1080p screen in 2014. So, this is when this video has been made. So, that's the standard for now. But the next standard we are moving up to is 4K. So the only way you can get 4K currently is by having a dual graphics setup and having a expensive 4K resolution screen. So that's going to cost you about, I'd say, $2,000 plus for the PC and then another $1,000 for the screen. So it's very expensive to be gaming at this resolution. And also it's in its sort of early stages so there are a few glitches with some games and not all games will be optimized to run at this resolution. But obviously everything is optimized to run at 1080p and that's why I sort of do so. I could be running at 1440p but I prefer the refresh rate. Anyway, now on to why the, I guess, 4K resolution won't be hit for a long time. So, p obviously PCs can hit this resolution, but not everyone can afford these PCs. So, it's going to take another, I reckon, maybe ne a few generations of graphics cards for us to finally be able to get a graphics card that can power 4K without any other graphics power so you don't have to do SLI. That's when 4K will start becoming a bit more common but for it to finally kick in we want a mid-range graphics card priced at around 250 to 300 dollars to be able to output 4K games. That will be the day 4K becomes standard and obviously when this happens the next generation of consoles will easily be able to incorporate hardware that can obviously run 4K. Currently they're sort of struggling to get 1080p, but if if the graphics cards can solidly hit 4K in let's say two years time, which I hope they do because that's probably when I'll be upgrading my graphics card, then that's when everyone's going to start having upgrading their screen, their TVs, what and so what to be getting these nice looking resolutions and is it even that big of a jump me myself I've never played at 4k I've only played at 1440p and that does look stunning itself but to be honest it's not that much of an improvement over 1080p sure it looks a bit better but it's nothing mind-blowing 4k from what I hear looks excellent but unfortunately Obviously, the horsepower to run it is expensive at the moment, so that's why when the next uh, console generation in approximately six years comes out, which will be probably the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox 2 or whatever they decide to call it, uh, come out with their, I guess, next generation hardware or quote-unquote next generation, because PC would have been hitting that for years to come. Anyway, that's really about it for 4K, guys. Uh, you guys might even be watching this on 4K screens. I really doubt many people are even using these screens. But will the I guess some of the phones are even hitting 4K. So that, that's another thing. Uh, phone gaming is I guess a pretty big market. Obviously, you can't be a hardcore phone gamer unless you've really got. Yeah, I don't know why you would be a hardcore phone gamer, but if you are you can probably get some 4K resolution screens already and apparently it's cheaper to make them small so I'm not sure what's happening there but if you want a good I guess desktop slash TV screen it's gonna cost you a lot so that also has to drop so when they drop to about $300 for a 4K monitor that's another step that Obviously, the market will have to take for 4K gaming to get into place. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the Battlefield 4 gameplay. I know this game would look awesome at 4K, but in a few years' time, there will definitely be better looking games than this. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Tell me in the comments whether you're looking forward to switching to 4K resolution in a few years' time. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.